I recently went to an oil change station to have my vehicle serviced. As I was waiting, a lady came in and approached one of the technicians and told him that her car stopped working. Thinking she was in a full service garage, the technician had to turn her away because they only did oil changes. It's always good to know that we're consulting with the right person. As people who face problems every day, there are times that we might feel like that lady, looking for the right person to help us with our problems. Sin is like a spiritual sickness, and there's a single qualified physician, Jesus, the only one by whose wounds we are healed and restored. When we wrestle with the problem of sin in our lives, it is often made worse because we take it to the wrong person or ignore the symptoms. King David knew the source of spiritual strength and healing. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night, your hand was heavy on me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Doesn't that sound great? The benefits of turning to our Lord Jesus? No more guilt of unforgiven sins? Our lives redeemed from the aches brought on by the tension of sin? Freedom from the heaviness and sense of doom? The Apostle Paul described the liberating power of grace over sin and death in his letter to the Romans, promising us that we will receive God's abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness exercise dominion in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Freed from guilt, we can rejoice in the life he has bought for us upon the cross. Do not let spiritual pain linger or the guilt fester. You have access to the greatest physician. He's the right person to consult for your deepest needs. Come to Jesus and be healed. I'm Greg Williams, speaking of life. Thanks for checking out this week's episode of Speaking of Life. We hope you enjoyed it and were inspired. For GCI devotional content, subscribe to our bi-monthly newsletter, GCI Update. Visit update.gci.org to get the newest issue. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.